Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It is day 81 of playing chess every day until 2000 ELO. Before we get into the video today, I just want to remind you guys about the tournament that's going to be happening sometime near the end of November. If you are interested in playing that, make sure that you check the description, fill out the form, join the Discord, and uh, yeah, hopefully join the tournament, have some fun, possibly win a prize. And uh, with that said, let's play our first game. So we're having another early morning because for some reason my sleep is all screwed up. It is actually earlier than yesterday. It is uh, 3 a.m. today, but I, I, I've been up since 1 a.m. So uh, <laughs> hopefully we play better chess than yesterday, but yeah, we need to get that figured out. Now with that said, I did go to bed at 7 p.m. yesterday because I was exhausted. All right, we find Lee Wynn. And he plays d4, we go d5. And let's go for the Alvin counter gambit here. That is the best move. But uh, there's many ways to respond to this. And he takes, we push. Now, if he plays this, wait, that, no, he can't, <laughs> he can't play that. Um, what's the move here? There's a situation where it's like, there's this, and I always played like bishop out to pin or something, but I was, it's a whole different variation. I think it happens when he doesn't take. Oh my gosh. This is, this is, this might be another Alaska trap. Oh God. I, I feel like we won't get the actual trap, but uh, he'll realize what he did after he goes here and I take the pawn. In fact, we're actually going to snap take that pawn. Come on, just take it. My heart is beating so fast right now. Oh, he takes it. Yes. Yes. Look at this. Once again, we get the trap. This is the second time on this channel. Second time. And these are 1400 players falling for this trap. So if you are like a thousand rated, give it a try. I mean, you don't see it that much, but probably see it more at like the thousand rated level. I wonder if this guy will resign after this. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he realized what he did. Uh, I just want to see the double brilliant. It's so beautiful. The beautiful 100% accuracy, double brilliant. All right, let's play second game. Oh, we get another match with this guy? I wonder if he'll play. <laughs> Just a rematch. All right, can we get a Vienna? Yeah, we get the Anderson's defense. I'm not really great with this. I think this is the best move. Yeah, I think we go here targeting this pawn. If he just does natural development, we get that. And he can't go here because the pawn is pinned. Okay, queen out. That is probably one of the better responses. Or maybe not. I have no idea. I mean, there is this. But he's threatening that. So, I mean, we can just block it. But then the queen's going to get a little stuck. Um, yeah, and, and like in the the uh, copycat variation where you have the bishop here, you can actually allow this check and go here because this square is protected by the bishop. However, in this variation, I don't, don't see a reason to allow that. Uh, if I go here, what's his response? Maybe this and here... If takes, we take. He gets development. Don't see a need. I need to study this line. Um, clearly, I don't really know it that great. I don't want to retreat. It might be the best move. And then we might just get development here. Goes for that. Okay, we're going to bring the knight in now, attacking both of these. So if he were to take now, it'd be a mistake. He's opening up his bishop. He obviously wants something like that. So he will have to play one of these two moves. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, maybe he's going to move the king. I wonder if this is a better move first. No. Just take the queen. There's no need to allow that. Uh, but now he's got to deal with this. She can do it like that. Uh, he could drop back. But if he goes here, we just take. And if he goes here, uh, is there anything? I think we can do this. Because if he pushes, no. That's just a fork. It'd be a little bit silly. Maybe we just develop. Maybe go here. And then we're threatening to take, take, and do something like this. And then we got this kind of pressure here. So I could see this move happening, in which case I will take, go here. Then he's just going to castle. So if he doesn't develop the knight, we can do that. But if he does develop the knight, maybe it's better for us to just play d3 and castle. Because if we can, actually, if we can play d3 and get the bishop here, threaten this, this could be good. Okay, it goes for that. Um, 
Maybe I check here. Take if he takes here, we would just drop back. No. There's no need to allow him to take. And we can just take like this. It's gonna open up this, but that's not a big deal. We'll take the bishop. And we can probably play d4. It opens up the bishop. We'll recapture like that. Now let's just go here. Takes, takes, he'll castle, I'll castle. And he, maybe he won't take. That's perfectly fine as well. But I will take, because I'll have pressure on this. Or maybe after a castle. We have plans and ideas. That's, that's the important thing. I wonder if this would be a good move for him. Um, that doesn't seem very good because I just kick him away. Then he comes here. Then he's threatening this pawn. I don't like that. Uh, he's threatening this pawn to start with. Maybe I play bishop here. This would give him that pawn, but maybe there's no... Maybe I just play c3 and stop any of that. Because now he can't even come here. So if he takes... We take, he can't recapture. Um, if takes, takes, he can come here, but I can stop anything like this. And I can also just castle because he wants the fork, but he won't get the fork. Yeah, so he just castles. It's not a bad move. Now I'm thinking this, and the knight will have to go to the edge of the board and have no prospects here. And we can potentially trap it now because if he goes here, he just takes the bishop. But if I go here, Drop the bishop back, and the knight is here. It still has no moves, right? Is that too risky? I don't see how that could be risky. So let's do it. Just drop back, and when the knight is here, it will have zero moves, because I'll just here, here, here traps the knight, is what I'm looking at. I don't... He might have some counterplay to that, but... Okay, so he goes He goes there. So there's no, no trapping of the knight, but the knight is extremely passive, it has zero squares to go to, so let's just castle now. And of course, he wants to, to do that. Um, but we're going to take this time to target this pawn. So we'll go here. If he takes, we'll just, we'll just take back. It's no problem. We could take with the bishop, but we don't really need to trade this. He can't play like this. He can't really defend this. He can push it. Uh, if he pushes it, then what? Hmm. We could drop back. Yeah, so he does push it. If I drop back, I'm kind of worried about this move. So maybe I go here, so that I keep eyes on this. And it's also lining up this way. But this is very, very closed. Um, here, here. Weakens this a lot, but I don't see... Uh, the bishop could serve a purpose on this square. It, this doesn't really allow us to push the pawn, so... And right now, this rook has to protect this pawn because of this open A file. Maybe this is not a bad move. Uh, if here, here, can I go here, here, and then just slide back, or take? I think this is fine. I would like to move the knight so that I can eventually play f4. Or maybe not even f4. Maybe we just want to reinforce this pawn wall. He doesn't have a dark squared bishop, so... Oh, that's a good move. Okay, so we blundered this pawn. Maybe now we go here, and then we have threats on this. But if I go here, he just... Uh, there's not really a threat. He can just kick me away. It does give me this pawn. Let's take, because if we don't take, then we're in problems. Okay, this isn't really looking great. Uh, there's a pawn here, but we need... There's no need to really do this, I don't think. And give up the bishop pair. But where does our bishop want to go? Mm, I, th I think this is definitely what we have to do. That knight's going to be strong, I think. We'll open up the rook. And maybe we can utilize this diagonal and this open file. That way we're not down a pawn, at least. Maybe we have ideas of this eventually. And we need to get this into the game. Um, so if I'm here, then it protects this pawn. I'm not going to take that because it would help him. Yes, now I think we come here and target this. He does have ways of attacking. But then we come here. And this is isolated away. So we just need to put pressure on this pawn. If we go here, then this pawn will be attacked. Uh, now we can pin the knight, and he'll have to go here. But I don't see a reason for doing that. Just go here and attack. So if he pushes, we can't take like that. Ooh, I don't like that move. The reason is just I can do this, and there's immense pressure here. I can even do this, but then there's that move, like I mentioned. Uh, if takes, he takes like this. Yeah, I think we just go here. And now we have three attackers on this. And he can't push it because it's pinned to the king. So if he moves over, there's just a fork. 
And we're going to take with the knight anyways, because then we're threatening discoveries. We're better at yet that, so. Uh, that's definitely a move. Takes, takes. We win a pawn. Is there a cleaner conversion, though? Don't think so. It's a good resource for him to have. I think we have to do this. And we'll just pin. We'll go here, probably. Uh, no, we just come in on the seventh rank, I think. Or do, or do we put double pressure on that? I think that might be better. Uh, what about this, 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 this? No, he comes in here. If I go here, he can't come in the knight, so good. Go here. If he tries to trade rooks, I might do this. No. No, if he does that, I just take. Simple as that. If he attacks, we go here. No, we take if he attacks. I think that's pretty clear. Once this pawn falls, I think that uh, his position will fall apart. And then we just trade. And he has back rank problems. So if we can deliver a check right now, it's checkmate. Okay, what's he going for with that? Is he trying to go somewhere to defend this pawn? I'm not quite sure. Let's double up. Maybe he wants to win this pawn. We can always take a, a turn to push as well. Like, let's say that he goes here. We can take. He takes. And we can go here. There's no need to allow him to come in. Or we could simply... Okay, pushes. Take. 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 And he actually can't take the pawn because of checkmate. Um, yeah, so let's, let's just go for this. As simple as that. Uh, he goes for that. That's not what I expected. We can just go all the way back. And now he has to trade, otherwise it's checkmate. Well, it's not checkmate, because the knight can block, but the bishop covers that square. So we would just take. So it'd be mate in two. But he's he's going to take the rook. And now he just has to go back or create some room. And if he allows this, then he's in major trouble, once again, because I showed you this. Yeah, so he goes all the way back. We can target pawns. Uh, where's this knight going to go? Maybe here. If I go here, he pushes. Maybe I target... No, I can't target that on here. Could also go to the 7th rank. I like the idea of just targeting this pawn. Probably play this. Yeah, so he targets... Or he, he protects that. Now uh, we can probably just push the pawns. Maybe something like that. No, he targets... Targets there. We can go here. Takes, takes. Maybe I should have brought the king up. If here... Is there any checks? Not really. He's got to be careful wandering in here. Because the... The light squared bishop covers these squares here. We go here. Probably this. Um, now, go to the seventh rank. His only hope is really to find a fork. Yeah, so he goes there. Now I'm thinking of trying this, but I guess he covers the square now. Go here. And my point is I just want to push these pawns. Can't come in. So let's just push. You can come here. Okay, yeah, no, we'll trade, we'll trade. Absolutely. Now we just create a pass pawn. And we'll go here, push, and it's always protected. Okay, we don't even have to do that. We'll bring the king. Okay, blunders this pawn. Now we'll target the knight. Gotta go back. And we'll push these pawns. He can't stop them all. Okay, that's fine, I guess. We have this pass pawn as well. And our king is close enough to this to protect it. And I don't think he can stop this. He can go here, here. And there's no way for him to protect this promotion square. So we will queen. And it looks like he's just going to let his time run out, so. Okay, he goes for that. Go here. No way for him to stop it. Good game to this guy. Uh, is there a fork? No. I can give a check, but that's fine. Just go here. Eh, he's probably just hoping for some kind of stalemate. Just here and checkmate. Boom. Ah. We'll, we'll wait. We won't pre-move that, but uh, yeah. GG's to this guy. Let's take a quick look at this, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to call it a day. We're sitting at 1483 right now. 
We played it at an 89% accuracy. Um, it looks like we had some misses. No blunders. Let's check out those misses. Okay, so in the opening, I do need to study this because this is a mistake, apparently. So I, okay, so I can just bring out the knight. I was kind of worried about that because then, you know, after he opens up the bishop and such, like all this stuff. I mean, obviously that's just a free pawn, but uh, yeah, I was worried that my my queen could possibly get stuck, not being able to get back in here. But that's good to know. So let's take a look at how this line is supposed to go. So if they go there, then we just take and we win the pawn and trade. Okay. Uh, what are other common moves that could happen? Bishop back. Okay, in which case we just play d4. And if they develop like that, we attack them. Okay. I guess that's, it is pretty straightforward. I was just a little bit worried about getting the queen stuck. So let's keep running through. Oh, this was good. We're... We should have just played d4 right away. Um, that looks like it loses a pawn. I wonder what the idea here is. Why can he not take? Oh, because it's protecting this fork. Yeah, right, right. Okay, what was the better option here? Just to take, okay. And d5 was not good. Should have went here. We were allowing stuff. Uh, yeah, he's kind of walking me down here, but we're, we still have a slight advantage. That was a mistake, and we missed something here. Which was just to bring the rook. We didn't need to move. That that also makes sense. And another miss is this. I I think I did look at that. I'm not too sure if I looked at it this at this point, but those are our three misses. And other than that, we played well. Uh, it's plus four, and we're only up a pawn. Yeah, we're just going trade off and we make these pawns. We probably didn't convert this the best, but um, I guess we did actually just push the pawns. There's no way for him to stop it. Great games at 3 a.m. today. <laughs> I don't know what happened yesterday. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It really helps. Um, Consider subscribing if you have not. Uh, leave a comment. I will comment back. And check out the description. There's lots of fun stuff going on. Join the Discord. Look out for that future tournament. There will be prizes. It's $500 total between five different ELO groups. And I think I'm going to do first, second, third winners. So it'd be a hundred bucks split between three people per group. So 15 people will earn some kind of prize. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow.